Hello ladies and gents, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. Now if you can cast your minds back a couple of months, we were talking about Aquaman 2 and how AH was saying they wanted me fired. Jason Momoa was turning up drunk, he was wearing all the rings, he was doing this, he was doing that. James Wan said it was my fault that he couldn't post about Aquaman 2. That's been in the last month or so that we covered that. Variety are actually reporting on this now. This actually came out, uh, I believe it was today or yesterday. And again, there's a lot of stuff in this which we're going to go through. We're going to read it through. But I also want to show you something as well, which shows why she was never, ever up for a horror movie with Blumhouse Productions. So, Aquaman 2 flooded with drama. Jason Momoa allegedly drunk on set. Amber Heard seems cut. Elon Musk's letter to Warner Brothers, and more. These waters are getting choppy. On the same day, mid-September, when Warner Brothers dropped the trailer for Aquaman 2, embarrassing documents from the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial surfaced on Reddit, creating a new headache for the studio behind the film. Depp fans paid the court fees for the release of the documents from AH's therapist, Dr. Dawn Hughes. The raw notes, scribbled on the legal pad, were part of last year's high-profile trial. These describe a hostile Aquaman set, where an allegedly intoxicated Jason Momoa dressed like Depp and pushed to have A.H. booted from the role of Mera. Jason said he wanted me fired, the notes say. Jason drunk, late on set, dressing like Johnny, has all the rings too. So, with that by there, let's kind of break that down. So, what did A.H. say about Johnny Depp? Oh, he was always late to set. Momoa, late to set. Jason was drunk. Johnny turned up drunk. Dressing like Johnny. Obviously, Johnny Depp dressing like how he does. Has all the rings too. We've actually done a video on all of that where we showed photos of him dressing and with all the rings and everything else in photos going back a decade. So obviously, she's still using the same playbook, which she hasn't actually changed anything up in it. She has just changed the target from... Johnny Depp to Jason Momoa. That's what she's done there, and it hasn't worked. Now, obviously, with this, Jason Momoa, James Wan, and all these people, they are not going to comment. But a DC spokesperson has. DC spokesperson pushed back on AH's characterization, saying Jason Momoa conducted himself in a professional manner at all times on the set of Aquaman 2. Others echoed the sentiment. Jason works his ass off. He likes to have a beer once in a while like everyone else, but doesn't show up drunk to set. An insider has said this, who was on the London set in 2021. They also added, the two stars got along and were seen joking together. And he isn't dressing like Johnny Depp. He is always dressed in that bohemian style. So you've got all of this by here, and again, we've covered this, and I just think it's absolutely hysterical that the mainstream media are now covering this literally weeks after everyone else has. But it does go on that A.H. declined to comment, but a source close to the actress confirmed that the notes do refer to Aquaman 2 and reflects a session from December 27th, 2021, months before the trial even went. Another source close to the actress says her lawyers fought the release of the therapy notes, which had been subpoenaed by Johnny Depp's attorneys during Discovery. Now, this part is where it gets really juicy. Jason Momoa wasn't the only Aquaman principal to land in the crosshairs. The therapy session also painted a picture of A.H. feeling unsupported by James Wan, the film's director, and treated like a pariah because of a high-profile legal battle with her ex-husband. Now, we've covered this part by here, where he raised his voice at me. I can't even post about Aquaman. Made it like it was my fault. I said I'm sorry. These are the notes in reference to James Wan. Nobody could take selfies with me on set given the blackout. Wan declined to comment, but if you remember, in Entertainment Weekly, he was like, no. She knew exactly what the role was for her. We told her in advance. She knew exactly the length of her role, and that was it. DC spokesperson, James is known for treating members of his cast and crew with the utmost respect and for fostering a positive, collaborative environment on set. The Aquaman films were no exception. So with that part right by there, 
when you know, she was saying, oh, he was this, he was angry and everything else, he raised his voice. If you look back at the making of documentaries for a, a number of his films, I'm pretty sure it was um, on the set of Malignant where cast and crew, some of them, were, you could see they were getting their, you know, getting their ass in their hands, you know, they were like, oh, pulling their hair out. James Wan was the only one who was like, right, okay, calm down. We need to do this. We'll go here. Then we'll sort this out. Calm and collect. Exactly like the DC spokesperson has said. This is where it gets interesting. And yet, AH was nearly fired. Sources on both sides tell Variety, following Aquaman's release in 2018, the studio and James Wan decided to drop the actress from the sequel due to a lack of chemistry with Jason Momoa and sent a letter to her attorney, Carl Austin, informing him of its decision. Again, we've got Walter Hamada saying this in court. Have you ever spoken with Jason Momoa about any issues relating to chemistry between he and Amber Heard? Um, yes. When did you speak with Jason Momoa about chemistry issues between he and Amber Heard? It would have been in that same time period where we were prior to green light of the movie. And as it says here, those sources underscore that the move to bounce AH was unrelated to Johnny Depp and took place before he even filed suit against her in 2019. The film came out in 2018. Likewise, Momoa was not involved in the decision making, but another source pushed back on the lack of chemistry narrative, noting that AH did a chemistry test with Momoa before landing the role of Mera and beat out two other actresses who did a similar chemistry test including Abby Lee. But again, no, back in the actual trial, they were like, oh, you know, Aquaman. And Johnny Depp went, how do you think she got the role? Johnny Depp got the role of Aquaman. At the time, he was starring in one of their biggest franchises. Anything he wanted, they did. That's how it happened. But then this is interesting now, because ultimately the studio never pulled the trigger on firing Amber Heard because her former boyfriend, Elon Musk, had one of his litigators send a scorched earth letter to Warner Brothers, threatening to burn the house down if the actress wasn't brought back for a sequel, says a source familiar with the behind the scenes battle. Warner Brothers caved and moved forward with AH. Musk did not respond to a request for comment. I wonder if he'll uh, answer anyone or reply to anyone on Twitter if they put that out. Now, for a lot of the uh, rest of the article, it does go on regarding. Blue Beetle, James Gunn, you know, they've inherited a bad film and all this kind of stuff. But by here, at towards the bottom, it does say the following. For now, neither Momoa nor Heard will be promoting the film given the ongoing sag after a strike. Again, with that by there, that's more than likely where people have gotten the, oh, she's been blacklisted. Because, well, they're not going to promote it because, again, they're on strike. But if the strike ends soon, now that the WGA has come to terms, the stars will be junketing, making it difficult for Warner Brothers, and one to avoid AH's accusations that her role was significantly cut. At least two of AH scenes were cut from Aquaman 2, an action sequence that found Mera fighting Black Manta, and a love scene with Momoa, according to individuals familiar with the production. Other evidence of friction is hiding in plain sight. This summer, Momoa unfollowed Amber on Instagram. One source says, he even blocked her from following him. That's funny shit. What I was saying as well earlier regarding Amber Heard, a horror movie with Blumhouse Productions, and I said before, like, that's not going to happen. And the reason it's not going to happen is because of this. This is Atomic Monster. Atomic Monster is owned by James Wan. It's James Wan's production company. These are all the films that James Wan has currently done. Annabelle... Conjuring, Lights Out, basically all the Conjuring films. You've got the Mortal Kombat films, Malignant, you know, Megan. And these are the ones coming up now as well. Salem's Lot, Mortal Kombat 2, Megan 2.0, Night Swim, which is coming out uh, soon, and Aquaman 2. But with all of this, November of last year, it was announced that the company was in talks to merge with Blumhouse Productions, with the company having a shared first look deal with Universal Pictures. The companies would continue to operate as separate labels, with each maintaining its own creative autonomy and brand identity. And with that right by there, 
it has actually gone ahead. They have actually merged, and a lot of the films that are coming out now from Blumhouse are produced with Atomic Monster together. They're both in it together. That's why she is not in any way going to get a horror film with Blumhouse. Because one, she's brought Jason Momoa and she's brought James Wan into this. You know, she's brought it up now. Oh, the director was doing this to me. The director did that to me. He was screaming at me because I because it was my fault and all this rubbish. This is why she's not going to be doing it. But yeah, this is interesting and this is what we got, guys. It's... It's great to see that the MSM is picking up all of this, but they're picking it up too late. That's the problem. And obviously, with with all of us covering these in the last month or so, it's like, okay, you know, a lot more people are now going to see how much of a narcissist and how much of, of a person who makes shit up is exactly what she is now. Let me know what you think of all this down below, folks. Let me know about the Elon Musk thing, because out of everything that's come out, the Elon Musk situation is the biggest one, obviously. He sent him a letter saying, you get rid of her, I'm going to sue you. And I think someone should actually message him on Twitter and put it out there. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Should we do it? Let's do it. How's that? Is that good? Let's see what he says. I think that we've already done.